everyone, it's Tiffany. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be unboxing the Disney Funko Games Mad Tea Party game. This is a beautiful game. I love the packaging already with this beautiful foil and the way that these cups are stacked can only mean one thing, that this is a stacking game. Yes, it totally is, because it says a game of topsy-turvy teacups. It's for ages five and up two to ten players kids love games like this so i am not surprised that funko has released their own version using the mad hatter from alice in wonderland let's take a look at the side of the box it's beautiful this is a great option if you're looking for something um the, all of the games by funko have really really beautiful spines so if you actually put these on a bookshelf they're gonna look amazing check out the back of the box Again, ages five and up, two to 10 players, 20 minutes of gameplay. So basically we have this topsy-turvy game of tilting cups. So it's a wobbly tea party table and you have to stack the cups. I'm gonna get it unboxed and we'll do a quick gameplay, how to play and how to set it up. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I wanna give a big thank you to Funko Games. Thank you so much for sending these to me. You can check out all of my unboxing videos in my Funko Games playlist featuring the latest games. And you could also check me out on Amazon. I actually I actually did lives on many of these games as well. So check them out. Let's get it unboxed. This artwork inside is so vibrant. I love the mix of the purple and the pink. This is amazing, it looks so good. Really, really nice instruction manual. I think one of the nicest ones I've ever seen. So we're gonna set this up and we're gonna play it. Here is our topsy-turvy tea table. It has like, um, I guess a convex, I guess so. I guess that's the right word. Um, I have like a scooped bottom, so it can actually do something like this. Whoa, um, it can wobble. So we have to wobble and let's see what else we need. We have these little teacups of varying sizes. You're gonna deal six cards to each player. Now make sure you shuffle these as well. You're gonna deal six cards to each player. If you have eight or more players, only deal four to each player. So you're gonna deal six to each player. So I'm gonna just give myself six cards. Okay, and you could look at your cards. These are the cards that I was dealt. And you basically have to do what the cards say. This card, let's change the subject, means to stack any teacup. If no teacups fall, you're gonna reverse the direction of play. Now, the player who went before you is gonna end up going next instead. If there's only two players who are playing, then you're just gonna immediately take another turn. Then there's the have a cup of tea card. You're gonna stack any teacup. Now, if no teacups fall, the next player must draw a card before they take a turn. Then there's the curiouser and curiouser card. You're gonna stack any teacup. Now, if no teacups fall, you're gonna discard a card from your hand. And if you discard the last card in your hand, you win. So you definitely wanna get this card. I'm not all there myself. When you get this card, don't stack a teacup. Instead, draw a card and end your turn. But you can't win the game by playing this card because you must draw a card immediately. So if you only have one card left, you're kind of messing yourself up. Now, um, since you immediately draw a card, you're gonna have to replace it. So you're giving one and taking one. Clean cup, move down, move down, move down. Now, if you get this card, you're gonna start a new stack on the tea party table using any teacup. You may not play this card if there are no teacups on the tea party table though. I'm late, I'm late. This card is a good one. Instead of stacking a teacup, remove the top teacup from any stack. Now, if any teacups fall before you finish counting to three, you're gonna draw three cards and then take another turn. You may not play this card if there are no teacups on the table. Now, the whole point of this game is to stack without having these teacups fall. And it's really, really easy when you're just holding them in your hand. But if you're playing on our wacky tea party table, it's pretty hard. So after you count to three, after stacking your card, after stacking your teacup and everything's all good, you're good to go. If your teacups fall, well, that's a different story. You're gonna have to draw three cards and then take another turn. So really the whole point of this game is to not lose your teacup stack and be the first player to play all of their cards. So let's just go through a quick gameplay with just me alone. 
And I'm gonna pull six cards for myself. So we got a couple of the special cards and majority are the, the regular cards. It's my turn and I have to stack a small yellow teacup. Here it is. I'm gonna put it on the wobbly tape. It also spins, put it right there. And then I have to count to three. One, two, three, and I'm good to go. This is the draw pile and there's your discard pile. There is the pile of teacups. Now the next player goes. So now they have to stack all three teacups. I'm gonna stack all these teacups now. I'm gonna start with the yellow, since we already have one yellow on there. Oh my gosh, so this fell. <laughs> Now, since it fell, now I have to draw three cards from the pull pile. So one, two, and three. And look at that. So now I have three of these cards to play and I'm adding them to my current deck. I counted to three, one, two, three. It didn't fall. Now I can put my card in the discard pile. Then we can play another card. Let's put the green medium sized teacup on top of this stack. I'm good to go. I counted to three. Everything's good. Put that in the discard pile. We're all good. Okay, it's my turn again. So now I want to actually stack, let's see, the large green one. But I don't want to put it on top of there. So I'm going to play a special card. I'm going to play the clean cup move down card. So I'm going to take my teacup and place it on a new stack one two three now i could take two of my cards and place them in the discard pile and if you're left with one card left and you're able to play your stack stack your teacup without it falling then you win so this means that we can stack any color small teacup so i'm going to place it on my topsy-turvy tea party table one two three and i win the game Let's see how easy it is to put the game back in the box. This was such a fun game. I loved it. Let me know in the comments below what you think of it. I just had some fun and was just spinning the teacups off the table. So let me know what you think of this awesome game in the comments below. I want to thank Funko for sending us this amazing game, Funko Games. Thank you so much for sending us the new Mad Tea Party game. This is a great game for little kids and it's so easy to play, even easier to put back, back in the box. So storage is no issue. Plus it's going to look, oh, plus it's going to look amazing on your toy and game shelf. Thanks for watching and I hope your day is just full of lots of nonsense. Thanks for watching. Bye.